Hey everybody and welcome to Board Game Heaven Talks Accessories and in this episode I'm taking a look at the folded space organizer for Eldritch Horror and this was kindly provided to me by Folded Space. I'll show you what's in the box, I'll briefly show you how it's put together and then I'll show you how everything fits inside, perhaps even with an expansion or two and I'll give you my final thoughts. So the uh, Folded Space Eldritch Horror insert for the game over there. Let's open up the box. Comes in this cardboard envelope. And as usual, we find the instructions on top, which is just one sheet of paper. And it tells you the sheets that are in this package. So there's four of these. And it tells you how to to put together the trays and how to uh, arrange them inside your box. So here you see it as well. And it highlights uh, the pieces that are used for one component. So it's really easy to put together. And uh, some of them are double, so you have to repeat the same step twice. But that is really, really easy and self-explanatory. And here are some stickers. There's a sticker sheet to put on the tray so you know what to put in there, which components. And so the box has uh, four of these uh, foam core gray sheets, some folded space uh, branding on there, double-sided, but they're just plain gray. And uh, they press out very easily, so you check what box you want to make first so let's go for that big one over there so that would be one of the other sheets so this over here i reckon yes and then you just press that out gently and they press out very easily so i need all of these i need these two and i need these two so, and this sheet has the same, so I have to do that twice. And what you do, you just take apart all these pieces, take out the little pieces that you don't need over here. So this is going to be the bottom. And then the uh, assembly instructions tell you how it all fits. So it tells you, okay, so these go in first. And they are secured on two sides, so you need to do these the first and then you have these, these are the sides. These slot in here and they slot in there as well. And this slots in like this, it's all very easy. And then these are obviously the front and the back. And that's it. And so you just assemble this without glue the first time so you know where everything goes and if that works. And then I just put some glue in a little uh, lid over here, a little cup. And then I use an old brush, an old paint brush with a flat head that I don't use for anything else anymore. And I just apply the glue, the PVA glue, the white stuff, uh, to the edges and I put it together. And once it's put together, I usually put a book on top of it to hold everything nice and tightly together while it dries. It takes about, I don't know, under an hour to dry. And then you can just uh, use it, start using it right away. And that's how you assemble all those pieces. So let me just uh, put together the entire thing and I'll show you how it will fit inside the box. So I've put everything together, as you can see, and I've already put in some components. So let me tell you what I put where and why and how it fits into the box. All right. So let's start with just the core game components, because that was basically what this insert is made for, although it does have some extra room. Um, let's start with this. So this is a component tray, a uh, uh, holds the smaller cards and the monster uh, tiles, the little tokens, and you can fit plenty in here. And I went ahead and already put uh, the tokens for the first smaller expansion, Forsaken Lore, in here as well. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. And these are also 
the cards for uh, both the core game and Forsaken lore just put together. So all the uh, these cards, these items, and what have you. Uh, I've got these uh, conditions, and I've got some uh, yeah some of these uh, from. This is actually from uh, Strange Remnants uh, reference cards. And these, what was this? More conditions. Yep. So yeah, I managed to put all of those in here. I'll just put that in the corner here and I have a second box just like that. And this was meant for all the investigators and their uh, stands. So I just put the investigators in here and the stands separately because if you put them all together, it's not going to fit, at least not easily. So um, taking them off the stands does work and you can just fit it all in. And if you just, if you don't manage, you can just toss some in here as well. There is room. I just like to keep it all in one place. So these are all the spells, uh, again, from the core game and Forsaken lore. And these are the, um, well, these cards, what were they are again? Are, uh, uh, assets or something, forget the name, items. So uh, yeah, we have those. So this is all the small, small cards from the core game and the first expansion. And as you can see, there's plenty of room to sleeve them. So I would hazard a guess and say you can sleeve these and it'll still fit. So onto the bigger cards. I filled this first tray here with all the cards from the core game. And there's plenty of room here for your finger to reach in and take it all out. So I'll leave that card at the bottom. So I have these these black destination cards, the purple ones, the orange ones, and the green ones from just the core game. Uh, I put them in here, did not sleeve them. These are the portal cards here. Then we have these, uh, what were they, clue cards, I think, <laughs> investigation cards, I forget the names. And uh, so I put these in here, and then we have these uh, research cards um, from the core game and uh, Forgotten Lore uh, as well. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and now this is basically the core game <laughs> uh, plus the additions from Forgotten Lore. They, they count on, they have numbers and they add two cards to each of these stacks. Uh, so I went ahead and did that because uh, it's just a, a few cards and then we have these so I put them all together again um, let's see if this is all this is just the core card games yeah like I said uh, just just two game two cards that I added to this stack the other cards the new cards from the expansion I put into this uh, container oh yeah and I forgot to show you and this uh, compartment. I've put these monster cards, uh, all of them, and these uh, reference cards from another expansion, I believe, but they're handy, so I put them in here. And plenty, plenty of room. There we go. So again, um, this is all um, uh, Forsaken lore. So basically the same, these destination cards, uh, the portal cards, the new uh, clue, investigation, monster cards, whatever. Uh, so they, they add more. They count on starting from, I believe, nine. <laughs> because there's eight in the core game. Yeah, and they start at nine and they continue to 24. So all of that, plus the new ones from uh, Yig, which is the final... Uh, well, the fifth god, if you will, Elder God. So this is a rather big stack as well, but that also fits in here quite comfortably. And all of these, um, oh, more of these cards and some of these. So yeah, these were just a bit too much to put on top. They would spill over. So that's why I put them in here. So having said that, Everything fits nicely, but I think if I would sleeve these, the big cards, they wouldn't fit anymore. 
So I do advise not to sleeve if you're using this insert, unless you're only storing the core game. This insert was made with the core game in mind, sleeved. So if you're putting in uh, a smaller expansion, like for Seeking Lore, sleeving is probably not, it probably won't fit. <laughs> so then I took this tray and the instructions tell you to put the health and sanity tokens in one of these trays, but I swapped it around, which I will explain in a bit. Um, so I put these in here and I had some extras from uh, other expansions. So I just put in as many as I could fit in there and that's plenty for a game. Then I have a second tray where I put these tokens in, these, uh, what were they, focus tokens and this uh, marker, which you can technically toss in anywhere. There's no dedicated space for that, but I had this spot left. Um, then I had these two uh, bits, these two trays, and one of them is meant for the um, portals, for the gates. So I put that in here, and one of them is meant for the um, elite monsters, and I put them from the core game and Forsaken lore in here as well, as well as Strange Remnants. Again, I'll explain in a bit. <laughs> so I'm already spoiling a bit. Um, these are these upgrade tokens and your clue tokens. I put them in the bottom tray because there's a lot of tokens here and I don't want them to spill out. And I took this similar tray and I managed to fit all of these travel tickets, uh, the boat and the train tickets in here. These, um, what were they again? Elder sign tokens or something, these. And they fit nicely in here as well as the core game dice. So that kind of keeps each other, they keep each other in place, so that works. And then I add some, some tokens left that I just all tossed in here. So these compasses, this thing, and my proof of purchase. So then on top of this, you're supposed to put these cards. So the, the Elder God cards, and I have the four from the core game, this one from Forsaken Lore, but also the one from, uh, what was it again? Strange Remnants, exactly. So I did actually manage to put strange remnants in here as well. These are all the um, the investigator cards, also from uh, Core Game and the two small expansions that I have. And they are supposed to fit on here. They kind of fit in between the backs of these two uh, trays and on top of the rest. They just rest on top and it kind of acts like a lid for those components. So then, of course, uh, I've, I've seen all the cards from the uh, core game of Forsaken Lore. So Strange Remnants also has cards. So I took them out and the monsters already fit in here. The investigators already fit in here. Uh, all the tokens fit in here and these cards fit in here. So the last thing, the most important thing was of course, the bigger and the smaller cards. Would they fit? Well, as you can see, they're unsleeved and if you do not sleeve you can simply just put them on top here and it's just flush there's space here as well but you know if you want to keep the two expansions in here and a core game in here that works you just have to put together these smaller cards so i have these which uh, goes here with the rest of them easily and then we have these spell cards I'll put these in the back here. Also fits easily. Then we have these conditions. Uh, where did I put my conditions? Uh, I've put them in here, I believe. Yes. So let me just take these. Let me just take a look. Are these all conditions? Yes, they are actually. So I can just put them in the back. And there we go, like that. Let's see, does that still fit? Yes, it does. Still has some wiggle room. And then we have these um, these items, which I put, I forget where I put them. 
Did I put them with these? No, I didn't. It's these, isn't it? Yeah, it's these. So I'll put these in the back here as well. And that also fits. And I have some uh, unique assets, which I will simply put into this tree because there's the most room left, as well as these reference cards. So as you can see, comfortably, this comfortably fits uh, the core game and the two smaller expansions for Second Lore and Strange Remnants. But that's about it. I do have some room for cards left and some room for whatever monster tokens you may have, but it's not enough for the bigger expansions. I also have Mountains of Madness and Under the Pyramids, and there's four more, even two big ones and two small ones. So based on this, you, you might fit in one more small expansion. The bigger cards just go here and you just fit in the smaller cards and toss in some tokens, but that's pushing it. So maybe I haven't tried, I don't have any more expansions, but you could possibly fit in another small expansion. So uh, that's it then. Uh, you, you have the board from the base game, which you put on top. And I always like to keep uh, this so I know what is, oh, it's obvious that this is uh, folded space, but I just like to keep it. Still have to put the stickers on. So then there's the reference guide, the rule book and the two leaflets for these two expansions. So I managed to fit all of this into the core box and still make it sit flush. There you go. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, that is the uh, folded space insert. I'm pretty happy with it. It works fine. It is light. It's relatively cheap. It's easy to put together and it does hold the core game easily with two small expansions, maybe even three. Uh, it doesn't hold any bigger box expansions simply because of the board would already lift up the lid. So I'm kind of hoping that they will make another expansion, another insert uh, organizer for the bigger expansions so that you can consolidate everything Elder Eldritch Horror into two or perhaps three of these bigger boxes. That would be awesome. But anyway, that's it. And so that was my review on the Folded Space Organizer for Eldritch Horror, even with two expansions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll also get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.